Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm an Outreach and Wider Mean Participation Officer from Greater Manchester Higher. We work with schools and colleges in Greater Manchester providing information, advice and guidance about higher education. In this session, we will be looking at the key elements of studying an honours degree. An honours degree or undergraduate degree is the most well-known higher education qualification that you can take. They tend to be studied at university, however, you can study it at college, which offers higher education provision too. At the end of the degree, you will gain a level six qualification. Here are some of the key components of an undergraduate degree. You have to pay tuition fees, which are currently £9,250 per year, and you apply via UCAS. When you apply, you need to submit a personal statement and your predicted grades. Even though the fees do sound expensive, you can get support through Student Finance England to cover the cost of your tuition fees, as well as living costs. Something to bear in mind is that some institutions do offer free money as well, depending on an individual circumstance. If you have a talent in music or sport, they may give you a scholarship to continue it at university. Or you may receive a bursary depending on your situation. For example, if you have a disability or a care leaver, a young carer, estranged from your family or from a low household income, you could be entitled to something. To find out more information, please look at the university's website. You can find out more information on how to apply or student finance by looking at our GM Hire website at www.gmhire.ac.uk. It normally takes three years to complete, although it can take longer depending on what you study. For example, if you're studying medicine, this takes five years to complete. Or if you do a degree of a sandwich year, it can take four years. You usually get longer holidays. Some courses offer overseas or industry placements as part of the course. For example, if you study model languages, you could go and live in Spain, Italy or France. Or if you study something like business or engineering, you could be working in an industry firm for a year. It's a great way to enjoy student life. There's lots of opportunities to participate in various activities. You can even live away from home and explore a new city or culture. You can join clubs and societies and try new things, such as Quidditch Ultimate Frisbee, or you can continue something you love, such as football, hockey or netball. Doing an honours degree is a lot of a focus on academic skills and research, so doing a lot of critical thinking and looking at research methods. It's normally taught across lectures, seminars, labs or even field work. Many career routes available from doing a degree, so the majority of highly skilled jobs require a degree of some sort and it doesn't matter on the subject. Now looking at the worksheet, looking at task two, write down some of the pros and cons of studying an honours degree. Thanks for taking part in this session. What did you think? Let us know your feedback by completing our short survey. You can access this by clicking the link which is in the description below or scanning the QR code.